What's up gamers, GF Ditto here, and welcome back to Ditto Goes Retro, the series where we play the games of yesteryear. In today's episode, we are going to be diving back into Croc Legend of the Gobbos, where in the last one we had a bit of a sticky time here in Demon Itzy's Ice Palace. I was having trouble seeing things, and as such we didn't even make it to the boss. Hopefully today we're going to do better. That is the plan, so uh, let's dive right in and see how well I can do. Alright, so loading into the level. There's this cutscene again, where these four little sheep goat looking characters, they get turned into one boss by this... I'm not sure who he is, I'm gonna guess he's the final boss of the series. Or, of, of the game, at the least. Alright. Let's go ahead and get some of these. Now, the idea is going to be to get there as quickly as I can without dying, obviously. This area is really dark. Uh, dark areas like this usually... I don't like games that do this, because as it is, I'm already um, visually impaired, and this makes it a lot, and I mean a lot, harder for me to be able to see what I'm doing. So I tend to uh, not appreciate when games end up getting this dark, and you can't exactly uh, see your surrounding areas. It puts me at a like, a massive disadvantage. I probably talked about this in the last one. But we'll see if uh, I can't overcome it anyway, because I would like to see myself all the way through this game. I think it'd be really cool to be able to finish a game like this. Especially seeing as how uh, I this is the first opportunity I've had to play it. And I would assume that when I was younger, I would have taken the time and actually cleared it. Although, when I was younger, I was also more open to using things like cheat codes. Which I try not to use unless I absolutely have to um, these days. But, I will say... No! I will say that if I get too stuck here... I just managed to clear that. Okay. If I get too stuck here, um... I may be willing to consider the idea of using, like, an invincibility cheat code or something. See if I can't get through here so we can just explore the, the next levels. I don't foresee that being the case, though, because, well, I'm going to make it through. All right. Here we are. I made it to the boss. Holy crap. All right. Nope, that hurt. Why would I think charging directly at him is the answer? Uh-oh. Okay. Oh, that's right, I have lives. But that's, that's it. There we are. And... Okay, one last chance. Now that I kind of know what I'm doing... No. 
No! Alright, and they're probably going to split again. It's probably going to turn them back into the four little goat creatures. Alright. So this is uh, actually really intimidating, but we're going to try this again. Now that I at least have an idea as to what's going on. I don't like that I have to restart the boss battle every time, entirely every time that I die. And I really don't like that a game over means you gotta restart the whole level. But it does make sense. I just don't like it because I really, uh, I'm not a fan of getting through this stage. It's so dark, it's hard to see things. But at least I know I can get to the boss now. That's... Like, that's a step forward. Okay, now for these. These scare me because I'm always worried I don't have enough time because there's no real camera controls in this game, so I have to manually turn Croc 90 degrees so that I can make the jump to the next space. And I got to do that before it collapses, so... And then this area terrifies me, because it's it's hard to see what's going on. But I think I kind of figured out the way to do it. I hope. I mean, I got through it last time, I just didn't do so with... Well, any of these rainbow gem things. No! Okay, so I'm not going to make it through with them again. But, I have these at the end at least. Alright. There we are. Okay. Boss time! Now that I kind of have some sort of idea as to what's going on. No! Okay. No! Well, okay. I need to kind of be right there when it happens. Except I can't see. I'm trying so hard.
I hit the button. Ugh. Now I gotta start fresh. With no jewels. Timing for this. Got one. Got one. I'm in the same position I was last time. And I touched him. Dang it. It does not work if I touch him before the spin happens. Or touch them? It? I'm not sure. That's why I want to be close. They don't wobble for long. Okay, so those don't have timing. I just have to hit them. Without touching them first. Ah! Oh! Alright. Starting fresh again. I wonder... Do they have to be wobbly for me to uh, split them apart? I might test that once I have jewels. Because I gotta go through the whole thing again. You know. That was embarrassing. I am trying to go faster, and as such, I'm screwing up. Except I'm also at the same time not trying to go faster. I'm just playing like I'm trying to go faster. Like, the mistakes I've made this run so far are the mistakes made by somebody who's moving too quickly to calculate their, uh, their movements correctly. Like, not taking the time to make the necessary adjustments and timings. Alright, well, you know what? Let's just re-roll on this one. I This is, so far, I think my least favorite of the boss levels I've encountered. Um, for obvious reasons. It's, it's too dark. The boss itself seems relatively manageable. Like, I just gotta learn it better.
the area leading up to the boss is not great. Definitely not ideal. And, well, my last couple of deaths were entirely because of my controller inputs as opposed to the darkness. The darkness sure isn't helping anything. And we're here. Now, let's see if I can take this part a little better this time. Hopefully. I'm hoping this boss isn't the whole episode, but it might very well be. I mean, on the bright side, I am fully intending to do it this time. No! Yeah, that sounds right. I had had, I had been doing really well in this room so far today. So of course I have to go and botch it. Nope! And I got knocked backwards onto the going backwards... Okay, it's fine. I'll just take these with me. And we'll go. Ten should be plenty. I hope. Alright, so I'm gonna try and run by and just hit this thing. And see if that works. No. It does not. Try and grab a couple... But yeah, the way I figure it is, it's not going to be any fun for any of y'all to keep watching if I don't get through this boss. So... Worst case scenario, I'll uh, probably just put in a code. All right, cool. No need. I got it. All right. Yes. Okay. And it's the four little goat, lamb, rabbit thingies, and a bird. Awesome! Alright, um, you know what? Let's go ahead and show the level password for this level. Okay. And, uh, I guess we'll give this level a quick try.
I do believe we're in a new area now, too. Oh, jeez. Okay. So I need a key to go that way. Do I even need to go that way is the question. Fuzzy buddy thing. There's a door down there, so I'm going to assume that door's what I need. And that is not. Although, if I game over here, we'll end it here and reattempt this level next time. Hoping that's not the case, but eh, we'll see. Sometimes you gotta replay a level or two. Sometimes. Oh boy. Oh. I see. And that's that. All right. So that's where we're going to end off today's episode. I want to thank you for coming. Thank you for watching. If you like this sort of content, please be sure to slay that like button. If you haven't done so already, please consider subscribing to the channel. The support is very much appreciated. And you can ring that bell for notifications so you can see when I have a new video go live. Then check the link in the descriptions below for all the cool things that I do. You'll find my Twitch account where I'm live six days a week. You'll find my Twitter handle, community Discord server, and even a link to the Skylanders Portal Casters podcast that I do that is in full swing right now in Season 2. And I will see you in the next one. Bye!